In January, I built and launched a software startup using AI in 30 days. In the past, I'd wasted months building software products that only get a few free users and zero income. This time, it was gonna be different. 30 days to build and market my SaaS product and get paid users. If I can't do that, then the idea is not good enough and I will move on. Luckily, my first idea went as well as I could have hoped. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did and the secret that made this project a success. For those of you who might not know, SaaS stands for Software as a Service and you probably have a few of them that you use every single day. From communication tools like Slack, Teams or Zoom, to accounting software or CRMs like Salesforce or Zendesk. To build a successful SaaS product, you need to solve a problem for your customer. Finding the right idea could be tricky and I have a long list of SaaS ideas. To complete the challenge of building and marketing my product in under 30 days, I needed something that could provide value to my customer without needing a complex mm. system. I'd recently been using ChatGPT and knew it could be incredibly powerful if used correctly. One day I was browsing LinkedIn and saw a post saying that writing engaging comments is the best way to grow on LinkedIn. They were suggesting spending 30 minutes a day just writing comments. That's when I had a light bulb moment. Can I use ChatGPT or other AI to write a good comment for me? Now we have an idea, we enter the validation stage, which has two parts. One, can I technically build this solution? Second, are there users who would want to use it and importantly, pay for it? Now, question two almost answers itself because I would pay for it. The original post is also from a LinkedIn ghostwriter, someone who gets paid by other people to write comments and posts. Plus, in the comments, there were loads of people saying they would love to do this, but can't afford to spend two and a half hours a week commenting. There are loads of other ways you can validate an idea, from talking with your customers, to creating a landing page and seeing people will sign up, or even pre-selling your product. Next, I needed to validate that the technology would work. The quickest way for me to do that was to copy some text from a LinkedIn post, put it into ChatGPT, and ask it to write me an engaging comment. And what came out was amazing. How much do you need to validate at this point depends a lot on your technical background. I knew I could create the APIs and databases easily with serverless, but if you're not a developer, you could learn how to build apps using a no-code platform like Webflow. With both kinds of validation done, I wanted to get real users testing this product as soon as possible. This is where building your MVP or minimum viable product comes in and is critical to this process. As the name suggests, this is the simplest version of your solution that still provides value to your users. For me, that MVP was a Chrome extension where you could click a button on the post, AI generates the comment and types it into the comment box for you. Building and testing this Chrome extension locally, as well as setting up the API, took about two days. Now I just needed to get user login and manage monitoring and usage, and I was ready for some real users. But before I went any further, I did something that turned out to be massively beneficial later in the month. I recorded a quick demo of the extension generating a comment and posted it on LinkedIn. I've got a decent following on LinkedIn, so that post now has 18,000 views and 52 comments, which were a mix of both supporting and hating the idea. To capitalize on this, I used a landing page builder to create a site with a demo video and a waitlist sign-up form. By the time I had all the features ready for beta testing, I had 25 people on the waitlist, another great sign that people actually wanted this product. I sent out an email to all of the users on the waitlist telling them they could sign up and start testing the tool. Straight away, I started getting really good feedback. This is why I really wanted to get people testing the product as soon as possible. At this point, I had two tasks. Handle the feedback from the beta testers. Some things were future features, others I had to fix straight away, and some were features I'm not going to support. The second was to get production ready. 
For me, production ready meant a few things. A proper website with sign up and an account page and payments handled with Stripe. I considered trying to build the website from scratch, but I remembered I was trying to do this as quickly as possible. So bought a template, customized the styling and added my own copy and wording to the page. I would always use Stripe for something like this as you don't want to risk handling card details and Stripe has the quickest and easiest payment provider to get set up with. Because I had written my own backend, the Stripe integration I did have to build completely custom, but deploying, securing the webhook API and the databases only took a few minutes with serverless, but getting the business logic exactly right took a few days. If you've never done a Stripe integration before, you can find website builders that have Stripe payments built into them. Now, it was 17 days after I started the challenge and I was ready to launch my full app. Since my first post on LinkedIn, I'd continue to post progress updates as well as ways you could use this tool and I now had 69 users on the waitlist. I sent out the launch email and also posted it on LinkedIn and just waited. Over the next few days, I continued to work on the app I was fixing any bugs that popped up and adding new features like the ability to change the tone of voice, which came directly from feedback from one of the beta testers. I also started reaching out to LinkedIn creators who I thought could be interested in the tool and might post about it. Anything to get the tool in front of more users. After just three days, I had over a hundred free users but no one had upgraded to the paid membership. I was beginning to wonder if it'd be another one of those ideas that people say they love, but would never actually pay for. Then one night I was lying in bed and I got a notification. LinkedIn Power Tools, you've just received your first payment. I was so excited. I was officially a SaaS founder. With this new wave of excitement, I spent the next two weeks writing LinkedIn posts, reaching out to more LinkedIn influencers and adding even more features. For me, one of the biggest feature releases was being able to customize the tone of voice on every single comment, even adding a question or a quote. This was massive as I was finding that the normal comments were good, far better than other tools, but they didn't continue the conversation or get a response from the original post creator. By adding a quote or a question to the end of your comment, massively incre increased the engagement it got and having engagement is how you grow on LinkedIn. Now it is the end of our 30 day challenge and the tool has actually earned a total of $140 with six paying users and 299 free users. When you think that this has only actually been live for 13 days out of the 30, that's pretty insane. Now, what was the secret that I think made this project so successful? It's the fact that I had two unfair advantages. One is that I've been a serverless developer for years, so the technical implementation was pretty easy. Second, and probably most importantly, I started with 14,000 followers on LinkedIn. This meant that every post I did about the tool got a decent number of views and with an audience that were actually likely to want to grow on LinkedIn, so therefore were my target audience. Now, if you're not technical and you're thinking, I want to build a SaaS product, but I don't think I could handle all of the payment setup stuff, then at the end of this video, I have another little trick for you. But first, what am I gonna do with LinkedIn Power Tools? At the start of this challenge, I set the goal of 30 days, getting to the point where I had revenue. Because I have paying users, I'm gonna keep posting about this and looking for ways to get it in front of more people, but I'm not gonna be spending all of my time on it like I did this month. I am gonna test with some other marketing options to see what works, if you're interested in growing on LinkedIn or just want to try the tool, there's a link in the description below to sign up. Now that second trick 
to generate passive income without having to set up your own payment solutions is to create an API and then offer it on an API platform. If you want to know what that is, how you can do it too, then check out this video here where I show you step-by-step -step everything you need to get set up and start making truly passive income with serverless.